All right, I polished the crankshaft because it has damage. You can see it looks way better now. And uh, you have to touch it. You have to, you have to be very smooth as it is right now. I already removed all the piece of metal that was stuck to it from the uh, bearing, see? It was about to damage the crankshaft, but luckily it didn't. So, uh, as I said before, this engine uh, was saved for a, for, from a catastrophic damage. So, uh, now that it's off, uh, the, the top bearing already came out. But to remove it, you gotta press it from this side. You gotta press the bearing from this side, and then it will come out this, this way. So, uh, I couldn't show you that, but I will show you how to install it. Okay, I have the new crankshaft um, rod bearings here is the part number for those bearings uh, there are six six so I'm gonna be using one I wanna remove it from this plastic cover and I have the two bearings out if you wonder which one goes uh, in the cap the gray one goes to the cap because you cannot put it backwards even if you want see this little uh, a stopper over here is in the opposite side so there is only one way if you put the black one over here it won't fit because the uh, room for the space over here is not is in the opposite side so in the case of this one it fits right there see where it goes and now I'm going to install the top bearing the one that goes to the uh, rod uh, so I'm gonna uh, apply some grease to the surface and now I'm going to install the rod bearing so to install the bearing all I gotta do is to insert it on this little stopper that it has here on this direction over here and rotate it just the same way I install the, uh, uh, the main bearings and it is on place as you can see that's all you gotta do now all you have to do is to pull the uh, rod down slowly until it hits the crankshaft once it is down it's time to install the bearing cap pretty easy all you have to do is to align this one with that one and don't worry you see this piece over here it looks like it's broken so don't worry about that, that's the way it's supposed to be. It looks like that, like uh, some pieces broken. So if you look at that and you're scared, that's the way it is meant to be. Don't clean it, don't try to uh, polish this, otherwise you will damage the uh, rod. So just leave it like that, the same way you remove it, you're gonna install it. And it is on place, as you can see. Just make sure that this little arrow is pointing to the front of the engine, that's all you gotta do. And now I'm going to tie this to around um, 50 pounds just to secure the, uh, the connecting rod. Just make sure that it's sitting tight. That's all you gotta do. All right, the connecting rod bearing is replaced and it's tight. Remember that this was the one that was damaged, but it was okay to uh, install a new bearing. Um, it's still, it's like kind of questionable for so much people but all you gotta make sure that the surface is smooth if the surface is smooth you can reuse the crankshaft if the surface is not smooth you cannot reuse it so after replacing the uh, connecting rod bearing all you have to do is to rotate the engine and make sure that this engine rotates freely which is i did and it does it rotates freely make sure every time you replace one connecting bearing at the time you gotta rotate the engine to see if the connecting rod is not getting tight so now i'm going to replace the other connecting rod and uh, i want to do the same way if the crankshaft is damaged a little i'm gonna polish it and i'm going to try to make sure that everything will be all right for the new bearing and i'm going to repeat the same process after replacing this i'm going to replace the number two and the number five and then i'm going to replace the number one and the number six and i will all the uh, rod bearings are replaced 
all of them are new fully replaced um, all you have to do right now is make sure that the engine rotation is free so it's smooth it gotta be smooth which it is right now so smooth easy to turn with no effort at all that's the way it should be so out of all bearings only two bearings were okay the number one and the number six they were the all of uh, bearings and they were good of the rod bearings the other ones were completely damaged they were in high risk to get seized or have a higher damage than that to the engine so luckily i saved this engine for now that the engine is safe and the rotation is completely the way it's supposed to be and everything is replaced it is time to torque the rod and the main bearings so now this is the real fun torquing the engine make putting the torque to each individual bolt of the uh, main and the rod caps so this is the real fun it is so fun that i'm gonna skip this step because i don't wanna make um issue i wanna make sure that i'm doing well instead i'm going to tell you how you're gonna torque it because i don't wanna make mistakes that's why i'm going to skip the whole step of torquing it but i wanna tell you how to do it first i'm going to start with the rod bearings the rod bearings gotta go to 85 pounds um you gotta torque each ball to 85 i already torqued them to uh, 50 initially so now i'm gonna torque them to 85 and then i'm gonna give 180 degrees which is half of the turn so from here the ball gotta go all the way over here after the 85 so in total you are applying around 200 pounds of torque to this bolt so um now I'm going to do the process to each cap is gonna be six times the way I'm gonna torque it. So the way you're gonna do is like torque this ball to 85 and then torque this other ball to 85 and then go to the other way to, to, to that and cylinder number six, torque uh, 85, 85 and then you gotta mark it over here. Mark one mark and then another mark in the cap and then you gotta make sure that this mark over here goes all the way over here and that's how you're gonna do each ball so remember each ball you gotta do the same so i'm gonna start doing that i'm gonna take a while because that process is very long and is very very delicate if i make a mistake i'm gonna have a real real catastrophic damage to this engine all right finally finished torquing all the uh, rod, the rods, the connecting rods, the six of them. See, I made this mark to make sure to align with the 90, I mean 180 degrees mark, which is half of the turn after the 84 uh, pounds. So remember, 84 pounds plus, nine, plus 180 degrees, remember that. So I am completely sure that I am, I already did all the six cups. So this is one of the really fun uh, part of this uh, uh, replacement of the bearings replacements on a DD15 engine. So um, the next step is going to be to re uh, to tie the uh, cups, the main cups, which are more fun because this one goes like even tighter than this one so uh, the way you wanna tighten this uh, freeze you wanna add 100 pounds to it which I already did remember when I just installed the cups I told you to tie this to 100 pounds so I already tied them all to 100 pounds after being tied to 100 pounds, I'm going to tie them to 184 pounds. So I'm gonna do 184 pounds now. I wanna tie it with the uh, ratchet, uh, with the torque R, with the three, I mean, sorry, with the torque uh, ratchet. Um, so to 184 pounds. And after that, after tightening this to 184 pounds, 
I'm going to rotate the ball the same way I did with the uh, rod, uh, the connected rods. I'm gonna do 90 to here and then another 90. So in total it's gonna be 180. So freeze 90 and then another 90. You can do the 180 turn at once, but if you want to do the 90 and 90, that's what the dealer recommends, I mean the manufacturer recommends. Uh, so I'm gonna do that process now. I'm gonna tie all of them to 184 freeze and then 90 degrees plus 90 degrees, which is half of the turn. So I'm gonna do the same way. I'm gonna mark it the same way I did with these ones. And I'm going to uh, make sure then I tied all of them. But I forgot to mention then uh, after replacing the caps, you have to rotate the engine and make sure then rotates freely with no effort at all, which I already did. It does rotate freely. And another thing is to make sure then the caps over here, see the caps over here, you see them there completely sealed. If you see them there open, there is something wrong. So make sure then they're completely sealed. If they're open, make, uh, there is something wrong, maybe they're backwards or you didn't install it properly. And just make sure that the arrow is pointing to the front, all of them, before doing anything else. If the arrow is pointing to another direction, uh, repair that. Otherwise, you're gonna have a catastrophic damage to, to the engine. Um, all right, so I'm gonna continue with the main caps and I'm gonna get back to you as soon as I finish doing that. I did torque all the uh, main cap bolts. So, as you can see, the same way you have to mark the uh, bolts on the rods, the same way you gotta mark the main cap because you're gonna give the half turn. So, uh, it is right here, zero, here is 90 and here is 180. So remember that after the uh, 184 pounds, uh, which is gonna be the freeze step. Remember, freeze step, uh, 180 pounds. Uh, well, actually the first step is like uh, the 100 pounds and then the second step will be 180 pounds. The third step is 90 degrees and the fourth step is another 90 degrees. So it's, this equals around 500 pounds of torque, which is a lot for these small balls, but that's the way uh, DD15 and DD13s and DD16 engines are uh, with the, the high torque uh, on the bolts.